figure shows the detail of the part of a flange pipe joint assemble this parts ca correctly and then draw to scale 1 is to 1 its following views a front view upper half in section b side view as viewed from left write heading and scale use draw projection symbol give six important dimensions so in this we have two flanges flange a flange b and then we have gasket see this this circular ring then we have square headed bolt four square headed bolt and four hexagonal nut so we so first we will draw this flange a then we will draw this gasket and then we will draw flange b and then we will draw square bolt and hexagonal nut and we will tighten it see this if you see this part so this is like a pipe right see generally basically it was pipe only but this portion they have extended right so that's why they started calling it as a flange right so this portion th this is a cross section of pipe right then they have a this part see the part is just increased right so that is this circle then we have one two three four four circular thing you know dotted circles four holes diameter 12 right then we see this gasket so then diameter 90 and diameter 62 so see this inside diameter 62 is matching with this diameter 62 so this will be here you know this this part will be here then we have one more flange that we will draw this way then we have bolt hexagonal uh, sorry square headed bolt right so that we will insert it m10 and this is we have hexagonal nut again m10 so we will assemble this in 2d so in this sum first we will draw flange a right so you see this now we have if you see this is 12 20 now this dimension is not given so you can take whatever you want so first we will draw this part this full line then this shape right then this way right First, we have drawn this. There is a dotted line. See this dotted line, diameter 62. So, when you are drawing side view for this, right? First, I will draw normal circle, this diameter 62, right? First is diameter 62, then diameter 74. And this much I can. This is cross section of pipe. Right? So, this is what we have drawn first. Two circles, one is diameter 62, another one is diameter 74. After that, see there is one more circle. Right? If you see diameter 80. So then we'll have one more circle. Right? So that so this part is also done. This part is done. Right? Now we'll see this part, this flange portion, like you know, this extension portion is 12. And this diameter is how much? 132. So that we have drawn. So this circle. So then they have given this circle, right? Diameter 12, 4 holes. This one. So diameter of that is. 106 it is pitch circle diameter that means all the circles are 
equidistant from the center. So diameter is same. So we'll draw PCD. And we can draw diameter 12. So we are done with flange A, front view as well as side view. Now we need to insert gasket, right? Gasket is diameter 90. So from here, we go up by 90, it's here. So this is gasket. So this much will be dotted. So for this, gasket will have one more dotted line. I'm drawing it with a different job. So we are done with flange A and gasket. Now we will draw flange B. So I will reverse of that. So we can draw that. So we are done with flange A, gasket and flange B. Now we need to insert square headed bolt and hexagonal nut. So what I will do, I will explain you how to draw hexagonal nut and square bolt. So now in this arm, we need to draw dotted for this circle. Right? In flange we have dotted line, no? So that's why we are drawing dotted, it will be here also. Okay, now we'll see square headed bolt. Now how will you draw this? See the length is 42 plus 8, this, this is square 15. So this is 15, this height is 15. Then from here you take 20 and you can draw this arc. Then this M10. So as I said, when they say M10, that means DO, outer diameter is 10 and DI is 0.85 into DO so that is 8.5 so here we need to draw two circles the inner circle DI is 0.85 so that is 8.5 diameter and it will be 3 fourth because it is external threading in this we have external threading so outer circle will be dark inner one will be 3 fourth and the, this will be keep in the 3 fourth part will keep in the first quarter the, this we won't, we won't join because we are following first angle so that this we won't be joining then if you see this dotted portion is for chamfering right so this is front view and this is side view of a square headed bolt so all of you understood now i'll explain you hexagonal nut m10 now what we will do we will draw hexagonal by this method across flat method af method and in that we'll take distance 1.5d or 1.5d plus 3 whichever you want Generally in assembly weight is important so that's why we always go on the lighter side so we will prefer 1.5D but if your teacher is saying take 1.5D plus 3 you take that or if he is asking you to take 2D you can do take 2D also this is 2D so that also you can take but right now we are following 1.5D so in that you draw hexagon then you draw rectangle how much is this it is given it is 10 so we can mark this distance 10. Then you extend. After that what we need to do, we need to take 60 degree from here and 60 degree from here. See, take 60 from here, 60 from here. That, and that means with vertical you take 60, 60. Wherever it will cut from that point to this radius and you draw arc. See this. Then you take 60 from here. You will get one point, you take 60 from here, right? So from this point again you draw R, from this point you take this radius and you draw R. So this much we know how to draw, right? 
Now, since it's a nut, it has an internal threading. So inner circle will be dark. And outer one will be threefold. Right? And I have shown you this chamfering circle. The, or, the green circle is chamfering circle. You take this to this radius and draw a circle. And then you extend this. Extend this. Wherever it will cut from there, you draw 30 degree. This angle is 30 degree. So this is chamfering. They do chamfering, so they want they don't want sharp corners, so that's why they do chamfering. So it will be like this. Now I'm not drawing dotted over here because anyway we, we need to draw it over here. So I'm just explaining you how to draw a square headed bolt which you will place it over here and hexagonal nut which you will place it over here and then I'll explain you what is dark, what is dotted. So after drawing square, he uh, square headed bolt over here, see this. So when you draw this is 42, so 12 plus 3 plus 12 plus 10. So it will be 37, right? 24 plus 3, 27, uh -huh. 37 minus 42, so 5. So this extension will be 5. We can draw this hexagonal headed, uh, hexagonal nut over here, right? We can draw hexagon. We need to draw 4 hexagon to draw this 1, 2, 3 and 1 is behind, right? So we can draw this hexagonal nut over here and square bolt over here, right? After that, see, one thing which I want to explain to you is clearance. Over here, there will be 1 mm clearance. That means whatever you have, this length, M10, right? So this is 10. So you take 1 millimeter up, 1 millimeter down. You draw a line in flange. Same way here also. It will be dotted, of course it is dotted. Uh, right now I'm drawing it dark. So you'll understand. Right, so this is clearance. So always remember, we need to leave clearance one one mm on both the sides. So whenever you draw nut bolt, make sure that you leave one mm up, one mm down clearance. So we have this clearance. Right. So we need to draw this. So I'll just explain you this over here. Now see we already have hexagonal bolt, right? Now if I'll put this, if I'll draw this over here, then it will be like this. Going with a different job. Right? Then you have your threading. See this green part is threading, right? This white part is this. What I'll do, I'll explain it here again. Wait. See this. So this is flange B. This is flange A. This is gasket. Then we have dotted line, right? So that dotted line we have for bolt. This much will be done. So what I'm saying that you should keep a gap clearance one mm down, as well as up, right? And then we have It's like this. See, I'm able to show you dark over here, but over here I can't do dark because right now it is orthographic. So this entire thing is dotted. But this is something like this where you have clearance over here. See this. So this is that clearance. One mm, one mm, one mm clearance is there. Right? So now I'll explain you once more. See, this is part A, flange A, flange B. So I'm drawing ditto same over here. See this. So this is flange A, this is flange B. So this is, see this, this is flange A, this is flange B, this is square headed bolt and hexagonal nut. Then we have this threading portion, see this, so it will go inside dotted, hmm? this is dark and this is dotted. This is for gasket. So this is the same thing what we had up, 
now what i'm doing i'm giving clearance so we need to mark 1 mm clearance on this side up as well as down so it will be like this so if you want to see this the same thing what 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 we have drawn is over here so now i'll explain you side view so now when you see from here this all these things are done now we need to draw this assembly of hexa uh, square headed bolt and hexagonal nut so how it will be now see in exam you need to draw only one you need to you, you don't have to draw all the four hexagon you only thing you need to show axis line at all four places and you and you have to explain one hexagon so that hexagon i'm drawing it over here see so in side view there will be one hexagon this hexagon right now see when you see from here you can see bolt right square headed bolt so you see the square bolt portion so so since it's a bolt the external circle will be dark so the outside circle will be dark and inner one will be 3 fourth so remember one thing we are drawing assembly of bolt and nut so in that case we don't have to follow according to nut we need to see both the things so from here when i see i see this portion first right so that is bolt so that's why external circle is dark inner run is inner one is 3 fourth After that, I will see hex again. I will see chamfering. Right? So, this I need to do it over here. So, see, chamfering is done. Then, if I want to draw a circle, I can draw a circle. Then, three fourth circle. So, that also I will draw. Only thing why I am drawing it over here because this is very small. So, I am just explaining you. So, you can consider this as a enlarged one. Right? After that, if you see, you will see a dotted line for the clearance. So that circle, if you want to draw, you can draw that circle. Right? That is for clearance. After that, this. Right? This is square 15, right? So that is also, so that will be square. So when you draw, it will appear dotted only like this so all of you got this see this since there is a bolt so external circle is dark inner one is three fourth then we have a hexagonal nut so that's why so we'll draw hexagonal nut with chamfering right then we have clearance circle so that that's what we have drawn then we have drawn square headed bolt so we have drawn square and See, there is a chamfering for that part also, like this. This is also chamfered. So that will be also dotted. So you don't have to draw this four times. You need to draw it only once, only once. So this will be over here, or over here, or over here, or over here. Anywhere, preferably wherever you are showing section, you show it on that side. So in this, we are going to show upper wrapping section. So this we will draw it over here. This part will draw it over here. Ditto same, right? So all of you got this. So remember one more thing. One, so one, one more time I will revise. Bold. So that's why the yellow circle is dark and pink circle is three fourth. Then white white dotted line is for clearance. Then we have green circle for hexagonal nut, right? Hexagon. Then we have orange square for this square headed bold. And then we have circle inside that. See this white circle, dotted circle that is for chamfering of square bolt. In this sum, upper half is in section, right? So, what we will do, we will draw cutting plane line AA and we'll cut it from here. So, it will appear like this. See, I haven't shown the bolt and nut. Apart from that, this is gasket, this is flange B, this is flange A, and this is gasket. So, this is how it will appear. So, this part will be hatched. So this we have to hatch in one direction, this in different direction. Right? So, what we will do? We will show hatching. Okay. 
see that clearance will be dark now so the inside portion will be dark so that's why one of the reason why we go for a sectional view because we can see inner detail clearly so that's why because if you see this and this so this is much more clearer so that's why people go for sectional view so this is flange a right this is flange b in this gasket i have an option of doing any how right now i'm doing it coloring you can do criss cross also like how we do it in knurling i don't know like this is your gasket so you have a option of doing it like this also or like this full shade right so see this this is part a right this is part b this is how it will appear and this is gasket and lower portion will be as it is so now we have sectional front view that where upper half is in section upper half is in uh, so this is a sectional front view uh, this is le left hand side view if you see part 1 which is flange part 2 which is gasket part 3 which is square headed bolt and part 4 is hexagonal nut right and we need to write that box symbol scale one to one assembly of flange pipe joint now if you see this see this much portion right so we are done with assembly of flange pipe joint